everyone, welcome to PC Perspective. Today is an important launch day for AMD as they release their first true HSA compatible APU, codenamed Kavari, uh, also now known as the A10 7000 series of APUs. We have one of them here, actually in front of us. This is the A8 7600. This is the lower end of the products that they're launching today, um, available in 45 and 65 watt derivatives. The flagship is actually the A10 7850K. Um, that part we didn't actually have in, in, in to test yet, but we'll have it very soon. That's a 95 watt part. Uh, it's the high end SKU with the fastest processor cores and fastest GPU cores. So what's interesting about these processors is that they're FM2 plus compatible parts. So if you have a motherboard with that socket, you're ready to go. Pending a BIOS update, you should be able to run these Kaveri APUs. Um, they're doing things a little bit different this time around uh, in that how they spec out their parts. You'll notice that if you look up the A8 7600, it's going to be listed as a 10 compute unit processor. What does that mean? It's actually four CPU cores and six GPU cores. And the definition of a GPU core that AMD has created is based more or less around how they've configured their GCN architecture. So this has six GPU cores with 64 stream processors in each of those cores for a total of 384 stream processors. The higher end 7850K actually has 12 compute cores, four CPU cores, and eight GPU cores for 512 stream processors. Now, when AMD sent us our review units, they actually sent this entire system here that you see. This is actually a, I think it's not yet released, Zygmatech Nebula Mini ITX chassis. It's actually pretty big for a Mini ITX design, uh, but it's got some pretty cool features. The doors just kind of pop off. It'll fit a full-size ATX power supply, full-size graphics card. It'll do liquid uh, self-contained water cooling if you want to do that. But they sent it with the A8 7600, which is odd because they normally send their high-end flagship part. The reason they did that this time is, quite frankly, the 7850K isn't going to be as impressive compared to Intel's uh, similar, similarly priced parts as the A8 7600 is to the Intel competition, which in this case is the Core i3-4330. So this is a Haswell part, but it's dual-core hyper-threaded, and it has the HD4600 graphics included on it. Um, the retail price of this is supposed to be about $119. This is about $129 or $139. Bucks. So just a little bit more expensive, but in the same window. Uh, our performance tests of the A8 7600 were interesting. Kind of as you would expect for AMD on the CPU side, single-threaded performance, even though Kaveri is the first to use the steamroller cores on an APU, it's still not that great, right? So this processor uh, was clocked at a 3.3 or 3.1 gigahertz base clock going up to 3.3 gigahertz with turbo. Um, and it had, it was not able to keep up with single threaded performance of the Core i3-4330. Uh, Multi-threaded performance, it was a little bit closer. You could take a look at the benchmark results on our review that show the A8-7600 is quite competitive in, say, Handbrake or X264 encoding, but it still falls behind in those areas. Obviously, where it uh, exceeds is on the graphics side. So take a look at our OpenCL benchmarks through Basemark CL or our uh, PCMark 8 version 2 benchmarks that integrate OpenCL compute into those tests. And of course, as you would expect, our gaming test. You can look at 3 d Mark. Uh, you can look at, we tested Bioshock Infinite, Tomb Raider, and even uh, uh, we tested a third game as well, Bioshock, Tomb Raider, and I believe it was Batman. Um, and you'll see that the Kaveri APU is definitely faster than what the Intel processor is able to put forward. And in and, and the case AMD was trying to make with this sending out the full system is that if you look at this part, which is a 45 watt configurable TDP APU and compare it to AMD's own previous generation 45 watt parts, which would be the A10 6700T or the A8 6500T, you'll find that this is significantly faster in both CPU and GPU tests. Uh, and that's partly because of the architectural shift that AMD brought along uh, with Kaveri, and it also has to do with the manufacturing shift. As they moved to a 28 nanometer process at Global Foundries instead of the 32 nanometer process that they were using before, uh, you'll see that on the lower end, the lower voltage parts, they're able to get more frequency at lower voltage than they were able to get before. 
Unfortunately, at the higher voltage parts, like the 7850K, they weren't actually able to scale their frequency up much higher. And that's why they're trying to push uh, the A8 7600 story much more than they're trying to push the A10 7850K. I would say that uh, for users that are looking for a super quiet, small form factor design, uh, much smaller than this, I would say, because this actually gives you a tons of room to, to cool 100 watt TDP parts, uh, that the A8 7600 makes a compelling argument as being a great option for that form factor. At 45 watts, it proves that AMD's new architecture can be competitive in low TDP areas. This Core i3-4330 is actually a 54 watt TDP part, uh, and it, it's faster in the CPU portions, but it's slower in the GPU portions. So it's all about where you put your weight uh, and emphasis on your computer's performance. I think the A8 7600 is a great part. I think the Kaveri part uh, as a whole is going to do pretty well, uh, and we're still waiting to get in our A10 7850K so we can do our full kind of flagship performance analysis. But at $120, this CPU is pretty damn impressive for what you get for the dollar and for the wattage. So we have a lot more benchmarks, a lot more uh, discussion about the Kaveri architecture that integrates Steamroller core, cores with GCN architecture on the GPU side at PCPer.com. I would encourage you guys to check that link below and read out uh, on the full review. Thanks.